Welcome to our second video in our series, Imperfect Characters of Faith, where we get to look at characters in the Bible who weren't perfect. So often we look at Christians or think that characters of faith have to be perfect. And yet we relate far more to their imperfections, those things that they have that are wrong, because they're so often things that are not right with us, or they're things that we struggle with too. And so today's character is Samuel. Why Samuel? Well, Samuel was one of those characters in scripture who seemed to be able to always hear God's voice and hear God's voice well. When he was a little boy, he was staying in the temple one night and he heard Samuel, Samuel. And he went running through to his uh, priest at the time, a guy called Eli. And Eli said, I didn't call you. And after a while, Samuel realized it was God calling him. And Samuel had many of those moments where God spoke to him. He was this big prophet, this big character in the Old Testament. And yet he did what many of us do. He sometimes looked at things and judged them for what he saw before his eyes rather than what was behind the scenes. Sometimes we judge people on first look. Sometimes we judge situations on first look. And yet God wants us to learn to look deeper. And so, so often, as we might be imperfect in that way, we need to look beyond. What am I meaning? Well, I want to take you to 1 Samuel chapter 16. And Saul had been appointed king, and yet God had rejected him. And Samuel goes looking for the new king who God was leading him to. And he goes to the house of Jesse. And at the house of Jesse, we see that Samuel replied to Jesse's question, why have you come here? In verse five, Samuel replied, yes, I've come in peace. I've come to sacrifice the Lord. Consecrate yourselves and come to the sacrifice with me. Then he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. In other words, they were all to be set apart to spend time with God and to hear God's voice. And at the sacrifice, when the boys arrived, each of Jesse's sons, he saw Eliab and thought, surely the Lord's anointed stands here before the Lord. I wonder what was it about Eliab? Suddenly, as Samuel saw him, he suddenly went, oh, this must be the person. But God says this to Samuel. Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. You know, sometimes I feel really sorry for Eliab. Just because he was tall and good looking, it's almost that in that moment, it wasn't the Lord was rejecting him as a person at all. It was just that the Lord had someone else for the role of king. He was looking for something in particular that wasn't about outward appearance. You know, scripture talks about how Jesus didn't have anything particular amazing to look at. And yet he represented God. So in the same way as Eliab, Samuel called forward each of Jesse's sons and each one in turn, the Lord said no, for the Lord was looking for something specific. And the last son came forward and the Lord still said no. And so Samuel turned round to Jesse and said, Jesse, have you got any more sons? And Jesse said, yeah, my youngest. It's almost as if the youngest wasn't important. It's almost as if he'd been forgotten about. He hadn't been summoned. The youngest was the one looking after the sheep. And yes, you've guessed it. The youngest was a young boy called David, who became the king of all Israel. But it was only at this moment that he was called forward. And as Samuel saw him, the Lord spoke and said, this is the one. For the Lord was looking for someone after his own heart. And so when we meet people, what we need to learn to be able to do together is to be able to see them as God sees them. Not to be intimidated or to be rejecting, but to see people's hearts. 
For that's here at the heart of this story. The way that Samuel could judge by outside appearance is the way that we so easily can do. But if we do, we can miss out on the best that God has. And no matter how good we are at hearing God's voice and how close we are to walking with him, sometimes we can still have that attitude. God wanted to show Samuel. God wanted to raise David up. And God wanted to work in and through Samuel. And so let's just pray in this moment. Father, we're sorry for the times that we have judged people by the outside. Help us always to look at the heart and help us to see your heart and hear your voice. Help us to be able to call out people to follow and know you and to join in with your kingdom. In your name. Amen.